welcome. It's going to be a practice session today for myself. I figured I would just video me trying to get back into opera singing. I just uh, recorded my power source filter video yesterday and it made me realize first off I'm super out of shape. Second off, you know what? Like not a lot of people, maybe because it's the internet and there's this whole vanity thing, but not a lot of people bother to show you what the what it kind of looks like when they're actually applying things themselves, like, you know, in a very not glamorous way. So here's my, in the, in the goal of this blog is to be super helpful, not for me to look amazing. So, I mean, it's hard for me not to. Just kidding. Um, but yeah, so I am really out of shape, uh, classically speaking. I haven't really, like, practiced and actually really, other than, like, jokingly, really honestly saying classical style for oh about a year and a half maybe two years it might be two years it's been a long time you guys for me so um here's what i'm gonna do i've set a little goal for myself which is something i like to do now especially since i'm not really in the singing world and i'm not really in super good shape um and i just want to get back to vocal ease with some semblance of classical technique. That's all I'm looking to do today. So that's essentially my goal, is to be like, how do you get that classical sound with some kind of ease? I think I vaguely remember it being a thing. So, all right, so that's my goal today. So I'm not worrying about diction or musicality or making sure rhythms are really crisp. I'm not paying attention to any of that right now. I'm taking that all off the table for myself and just focusing on technique, 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 essentially. But I do have some bad muscle memory for um, muscle tension dysphonia in my singing. So um, I need to stay as playful as I can. And I'm going to use some of the knowledge I have to sort of, you know, figure out how to get back to that easy production spot for me. So I'm trying to just rediscover a muscle memory that I've already developed before. So it probably won't take me as long as it took me the first time actually just finding it at all. Um, but I'm gonna, but luckily for you, that means a little shorter video. Huh, yay. Um, so what I'm gonna do is essentially be talking out loud to you guys, letting you into if I'm changing out what I'm doing, um, reasons I'm picking certain things to do for myself, just things that work for me, things that don't work for me. That's pretty much it. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is get my rib cage in order because my respiratory system, my power source is super out of shape, super out of shape. And I've decided it's probably only gonna be a really short 10, 15 minute session today practice. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna get to 15 minutes with some sort of ease. If I do, I'll be quite surprised with myself. Uh, <laughs> I'll be like, wow, look at me go, look at me remembering things. Um, so I picked uh, Zepiretti Lusinghieri from Mozart's I Domineo. I am probably not gonna do the words today. I'm probably just gonna do vowels and consonants and random like speech sounds essentially. Um, I picked this because two years ago I was singing this with the hopes of digging up, like getting up a recital at some point and it never actually formulated. So, um, and I did actually have some voice lessons on this, not really coachings, but I did have some lessons and I remember attaining some level of vocal ease with this aria. Um, and also it has that one like fairly early on, just wicked hard, long, long phrase. And I don't think I'm gonna get through that phrase today. I don't think I'm gonna be able to, but I'm gonna play around and see if I can. <laughs> see what I can do with it, you know? So it's gonna give you a nice glimpse into rediscovering something that I kind of vaguely remember. So I picked a piece that doesn't have bad muscle memory because I'm out of shape. So I'm gonna pick a piece that I intentionally picked a piece that I remember having vocal ease on so that I can try to rediscover it rather than hauling out something that's really old back from my super muscle tension dysphonia days and um, and like trying to slog through because that's just not something I want to do right now. I'm probably not really in a good place for that. 
I'm too out of shape for it, and if I tried, it would be too frustrating. So I wanna take frustration out of my practice as much as I can, because I have a lot of emotional, like kind of baggage essentially, related to classical singing, due to sucking it essentially for a very long time. <laughs> so, um, so I have that baggage of like constantly judging myself and constantly feeling beating myself up during practice sessions, and I'm trying to take that out of the equation as much as I can, right? So, um, which is good for everybody. But, you know, so that's why I picked this aria. It'll also give you a little glimpse into what I might, some, a few little things I might try when I'm working on a really hard phrase. Who knows? Also, other caveat, I don't have a keyboard or a piano of any kind anymore. Um, when we moved last, I gave away my keyboard. So, um, so I'm just, if you see me kind of coming back to the computer and, and, dinking around here. I'm actually getting into the app where I can give myself pitches. <laughs> you know, and I might wander off key, but that's okay too. I'm not going to worry about that too much today. Seriously, it's just, it's all about vocal ease today. Can I find classical coordination with vocal ease? That's my whole goal. End of the story. That's it. That's what I'm going to focus on. So the first thing I'm going to do is work on that rib cage. So let me angle down a little bit. Step back a touch, and I'll go ahead and raise up this shirt so that maybe you can see a little more. Oh, I angled it a little too low. <laughs> All right, so rib cage. My rib cage is here, and my lower ribs are right here. I actually have a very short torso, if you notice. My hips are like pretty much like that close to my rib cage. So bottom, <laughs> bottom of the rib cage, right down here. Typically for me, I like to feel um, expansion down here. I like to feel these muscles really working down here. And if I really get into good shape, I'll start to feel it in the back as well, kind of like right along the spine. I'll start to feel some good workout right there. Um, so I'm not gonna voice yet, I'm just gonna breathe. So I'm gonna take a deep breath down here. I'm gonna keep on inhaling. And I'm going to move my shoulders around and stuff just to make sure they're not getting too active. Keep myself really loose. Just keep the rib cage, keep my lungs really tanked up. And make sure that mus those muscles are really holding it back. I'm still staying at a really, right now my lungs, I have a really high alveolar pressure in my lungs right now. Even though I'm talking. And my shoulders just got a little tight. That's why I'm doing it for a while. Because my shoulders are a little tight. Just trying to get that all worked out, okay? Okay, now I wanna get back into some control over my exhale. So um, I'm gonna use the S exhale that is, I like doing this, but I like thinking about it being the smallest, I call it like the secret S, like shh, I don't want anyone to hear it really. I just want it to be a tiny little like like poke in a tire, you know? So, because it gives me better control over that. I want a really minimal S, but I want it to be consistent as much as I can. So let me try it. Here we go. I'm way out of shape. <laughs> I can usually go for longer and I really couldn't keep the consistency. So I'm like, <clears throat> this is to try to keep it expanding, expanding, expanding. I'm trying to get those muscles to really work for me. This is cause like, I'm just getting a little tight every once in a while. So I just move the shoulders a little, kinda, kinda look like I'm ready to <laughs> get ready to fight or something. But, um, all right. So I'll bring this down again now. So um, now that you know kinda where I'm talking. So let me do that again because that didn't go super well. <laughs> Woo! All right, here we go. Okay, okay. That went better, and I'm not gonna worry about going 
until I'm done out of air because I don't need to today, honestly. Just need to get decent control over it. You know, that's all I'm looking for. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of um, some S pulses now. This is mostly to make sure my rib cage can stay stable, but my abdominals are released enough to stay very flexible and to help me pulse air as needed for like staccati and stuff. So let's give that a shot. Here we go. So same inhale, big inhale into the rib cage, low, low rib cage. And then I'm just gonna do a little And from old, old, old times, uh, what I read about that exercise is it's supposed to be the Fs are supposed to be like you're flickering a candle, not like you're blowing it out. It's just if you have a candle flame in front of you, you're just going to flicker it every so lightly. So F pulses. Um, so I was feeling for stable stability in my rib cage while still letting the pulses happen. And I wasn't really aware that much was happening with my abdominals but it actually was, right? So. There we go. Once I stabilize the rib cage, I get a little more pulse action down here. Um, Cause this is able to release a little more. Okay, if I pulse with the rib cage, it just is really hard to control especially after you're done pulsing. It's like nearly impossible to go. It just leaves, right? So I don't want to pulse here. I want to pulse down here. So that I can just go straight into keeping the air minimal. All right, now I want to take that minimal airflow that I found and I want to try to map it to singing and I'm going to angle this up now. <laughs> um, so I want to try to map it to voice use, right? So what I'm going to do, uh, let me grab my little, there we go, um, piano thingy dingy. Um, I'm actually just going to just do some sirens, though, to start off, honestly. I don't want to get myself all in the head of, like, having to match pitch and sound good. As soon as I play the piano key, I think, i got to sound good now. I'm singing. So I just want to start with some sirens or something. So I actually might do some lip buzzes. Once again, this is minimal airflow to keep the lips buzzing is what I'm going for. So it's a way for me to see that I can maintain that really consistent minimal airflow. It's not loud. It's not, it's not like that. It's not like spittle everywhere. It's very relaxed. It went up a little. Like straw phonation, but I don't have a straw. I'm doing that ooh. There it was. This was getting a little tight, a little elevated. I had to really think down on the inhale on with my throat just to kind of find that spot where it's a little more released. this faux yo thing that I was doing. Um, yeah, actually maybe E flat. I'm not a very high voice, so I don't know. So I'm just going to go. Okay, here we go. for 
kind of a breathe and go kind of thing right here. I want to get everything set up on the inhale and just go instead of holding my breath. That's what I'm really going for with this. So. I stay loose. I move my body around a lot, you know. Because in my middle voice, it just collapses on me. Old habits. Color tours out there, you feel me, right? Middle voice. Woo! It'd be a hard thing. Okay. Here we go. So I'm just going to try that a little more as I come down into middle voice. Okay. So I'm trying to refine a little more because I was able to breathe and go a little bit. So now that I got that a little looser, I'm trying to refine just a little more. Just to get a little more subtle control over things, essentially. Without getting tight. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to try this just going, but... Okay. straight into runs, I think. I haven't done the scales in a while, but nine notes essentially is what I'm used to. So I'm going to do, um, maybe I'll try one on E first, just to get that closed vocal track shape, or an ooh, one of the two. I'm going to play with vowels until I get something that feels easy, essentially. So, two, U, nope, few, few, that works. Still need more ease. You a little better. If I do this, it's thinking this. You 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 need to come down on off. because honestly the more I do today the more likely I'll just start to completely forget what I'm doing with my body so I'm gonna run out of time pretty fast for my muscles to get tired and fatigued and sick of trying to do something new that it hasn't or at least new in the sense that it hasn't done in two years so let's just move on to aria business what the heck 
But I'm gonna do it like a vocalese at first. I'm just gonna play around with vowels. I'm trying maybe like that few thing maybe a little bit, maybe some lip buzzing. I'm just gonna try out a few things. And what I'm do doing is I'm checking in with this. Does it feel easy? I'm checking with my rib cage. Is it active? Is it really resisting that exhale? Um, and can I feel like I can change vowels and consonants here? If is, is all the movement essentially for vowels and consonants really forward in my mouth so that this can stay tall and stable and this is really nice and easy and controlled. So I'm just gonna be constantly checking in with my subsystems. I use the resonance this way, um, especially in middle voice, as a way for me to check in and see if this is easy. It's sort of my fallback. For, does this feel easy? Am I getting too, you know, am I letting it kind of sink back and letting it kind of get that feels in my throat. That's way in my throat, right? I kind of exaggerated that. So I want to keep it light. Light as in, not the sound quality, but light as in easy, light airflow through the vocal folds and still maintaining that nice, tall pharyngeal space that I'm looking for for classical. So, whoop. is that it? Yes, do, whoop. nope. It's G sharp, you guys. Why am I trying E? Yeah, we'll see. Okay. feeling just the vowels without having to think about the actual vowels I'm supposed to be singing. <laughs> so I don't have to like tax my brain with, oh, it's a, e, a, e, u, e. I can do that some, but I don't want to do it a lot because it's just, it's a lot for me to think about. So when I'm really just trying to see what my rib cage is doing and I'm trying to check in with my laryngeal system and I just want to keep movement here at the front of my mouth, I'm just gonna do like a fooey u -e -u kind of thing. It's just my deal, it works for me. I don't know, use it, don't use it. Other people have plenty of other things. Ah is my nemesis, so I tend to not wanna practice on ah very much because I could get really tight and really manipulative of my sound on an ah. So I tend to just not even bother. <laughs> the closest I'll get is an uh, an intentional like schwa sound, like an uh, just to get neutral. That's the closest I'll get to like an awe when I'm practicing, usually for stuff like this. So obviously you gotta train an awe at some point, you gotta work on it, but um, yeah, I wanna make sure my technique's really lined up and coordination's really good before I start to fiddle with holding an awe for a long time, essentially. That's just me. All right, so here we go. So I'm gonna do the fooey you you stuff, right? So I said, so. Few, 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 few. I'm finding that easy space before I start the phrase. I'm gonna find it a little bit, so it's kind of like an onset thing. But I'm finding where my rib cage can stay out, and I've got the easy airflow. I'm not putting too much through right off the bat, so it really is an onset thing, I guess. But here we go. Few, 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 few. few. It was too much at the beginning. Few. What the heck? I'm practicing in private. Who cares? Doesn't have to be perfect, right? 
Okay, so let me find the page again here. I'm skipping Russian Gentile completely because that's for you're nice and warmed up and easy. Then you work on that. <laughs> All right, in my mind. All right. <clears throat> so it's. guys. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Looking for that ease, right? So let me do that onset thing again. had to go down the um the day like I was a little heavy right there and I think that's where I lost some air essentially I I really couldn't get through because I got a little heavy I started using a little too much air because I started squeezing a little here and I could feel it um and my tongue went back a little bit which that's why awe is my nemesis because in my middle voice I tend to over darken and I make it really heavy and if you're doing something like this aria, if I'm singing something like this and I make it overly heavy, I'm never getting through the phrase. There's no way. Because remember, I still have paresis. I still have air escaping through my vocal folds. I have more of a gap, more of a glottal gap than um, other people. It's not super severe, which is why I'm able to sing, but it's, you know, there's enough of a gap there that I still have a breath of air escaping essentially. So. Getting through these phrases for me, I have to be impeccably easy in my throat. Because um, otherwise, I have, you know, I'm just going to lose too much air if I, if I try to cheat anything technique-wise. Other singers, if you have more complete glottal closure, you might be able to get away with more, but I can't. So um, I have to be super clean, super impeccable. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that again. If you noticed, I was stopping and doing a lot of wee 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 all the time. That's me just trying to get the air nice and steady, feeling like this is really stable, and I'm checking and making sure that none of that vowel change is interfering with the source and the power system. That's all I'm doing. I'm like, okay, filter can do its thing, and source and power can stay pretty steady. That's what I'm checking in on. Every time I, you hear me doing something like that, I'm trying to make sure I'm like retelling my brain you can stay nice and steady. The air can be steady. We can do whatever vowel we want, but that's the coordination we want underneath it. We want the source and the respiratory system to stay with this coordination. This can do whatever it wants. That's just how I've started training um, since, really since starting the speech language pathology masters, honestly, somewhere in there or maybe after it. But I started training more that way because if I get super into like exactly what the vowel should be and what the vowel resonance should be for me, that's too much. I get really tight and really tense and I lose that ease completely. So it's a way for me to kind of apply therapy techniques essentially to singing, which is making sure I have the ease, making sure I feel the resonance, I feel the buzz, you know. Um, usually I feel it here. Sometimes it goes even behind my ears a little, sometimes like kind of around here. I start to feel a little resonance depending on where I am in my voice. Um, but I want to feel something. Uh, kind of going up there. I want to. I don't want my voice to sound very loud in my head. I want it to sound very soft, honestly, pretty distant, pretty thin, kind of honestly. Um, I'm gonna do the ooh 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 one more time, and then I might try the words one more time. And then honestly, I think I'm mostly done for today. I might try to just sing through it a little more, just for funsies, but not for perfection. <laughs> Just for funsies, because honestly, when I'm coming back in after a long break, I want to sing through something for the music and because I love it. Um, so I like to finish 
my practice sessions that way. So actually, I might just go straight into that after this. I'm going to do the words and just do the ooey 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 as needed. That's what's going to happen now. So once again, not worried about my rhythms are not as crisp as they should be for Mozart. I know that. My dynamics are not as crisp as they should be for Mozart, and I know that too. And my diction probably isn't that great, and I also know that. Um, because I haven't coached this in a long time, but once again, this is really just about me enjoying singing, getting back into vocal ease, and feeling like I can just enjoy the music. And that's all I'm really worried about right now. It's not about professional polish for me at the moment. Okay? So, that's not what this practice session was about for me. All right. <clears throat> so here we go. And that just frees up my brain. That way I don't beat myself up over those things when I realize it's not quite right. I just move on. I don't have to beat myself up over it because it's not the practice session where I'm going to get really into that, you know? So, all right. <clears throat> Whew, I've got to take a good breath. way too much. I'm gonna get really too annoyed with myself if I keep pounding that phrase today because I'm just not in shape to do it so I'm just gonna move on by it honestly. Right. Make sure I don't train something frustrating and or tense. Okay. <clears throat> Woo! So I just did the So I'm going to re-inhale. I should and I can feel it. My rib cage is not hanging in there with me throughout the whole thing. Um, and my inhales are not as released as they really should be. So that's 
five minutes long. I think that's plenty of time now. I think I'm done for today for this aria. Um, and I can tell I'm struggling a little more to maintain the ease um, because like, especially at the end of phrases, I'm running out of breath and that's making me a little tighter and then I'm a little tighter on the next entrance and then I'm a little, so it's kind of snowballing a little for me right now. So due to that, I'm just gonna take a break. I'm gonna say dunzos for today because it's been two years and I'm super out of shape and there's no reason to push it through. Um, I'm not prepping for any major gig or anything. I'm just doing this for myself. So I'm just gonna call it a day. Um, that's my practice and maybe I'll pick it back up. Um, if you guys like this video, I can definitely pick this back up um, later and do more of, maybe I'll do the warm up and stuff on my own. If you guys, unless you really like to see it, um, <laughs> I could do more of it, but maybe, you know, tomorrow or possibly Monday because it's the weekend. Might want to just, you know, go out and enjoy myself and not practice. So, because um, <laughs> I'm not really a professional singer anymore, you guys. So. I don't mind not singing every day, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> um, so, you know, and pick it back up and keep trying it and seeing if I can get back to where I could at least get through a whole section of the aria, like in one go without a ton of tension. You know what I mean? Um, all right, so let me know if you like this. Hopefully it's helpful for someone out there just to see kind of how I'm thinking about things. Like I said, I'm trying to rediscover something I already knew so I know it's in there in my brain somewhere. So I'm trying to stay as loose and easy as I can so that I'm allowing my brain to remember and I'm allowing my motor system to learn and I'm just checking.